Hey everybody, I am so excited. I'm coming to you from Jamestown, Ohio, and my name is Crystal Gossett. I'm so excited to share with you tonight, along with my friend Michelle, about 60 second invites. This is something that has been very impactful for our team. We've used it not only for onboarding, um, meaning somebody who's just getting started, but also people who have been on our team and in this business for years and years. This is a really, really effective way to talk with people, not only about products and maybe questions that they have and allowing your business coach to help answer those questions, but especially for business partners and helping you find and reach out to invite people to learn more about the business. So uh, several years ago, when we implemented this in our team, we grew, <laughs> we jumped in volume so much. And it was because we zeroed in and focused on one thing. And it really helped our team learn and earn at the same time. You don't have to be the expert, especially those of you that are just starting. And even those of you that have been in the business and could answer the questions, the power is that someone else gets to be a part of the journey with you. And so this brand new prospect gets to see the amazing sense of community that we have at Shackley, as well as that if they did say yes, that they would have the same support that you have, that they don't have to be the expert, that we have the resources, and that you have an amazing coach to help you. So we're going to share today about how you can utilize 60 Second Invite to really jumpstart or grow your business to the next level that you're wanting to do so. So Michelle out of Colorado is going to kind of explain in a nutshell what the 60 second invite is going to look like. Yes, thanks, Crystal. Yes, we too, as a team, have utilized the 60 second invite and it has been an amazing tool to bring on new people. And it's, to me, it just gives me the confidence that there's actually something that works. Okay, so the 60 second invite psychologically it works. And so I just want to encourage you to trust the process. So the 60 second invite is a business call. So it really isn't a personal call, not really to check in with them. You want to do a little of that, but we want to make it professional, short, straightforward, and conversational. And that this is about them. So in a nutshell, I want to give you the three parts to the 60 second invite. The first one is why you thought of them. Okay, this is the time where you dig deep, you get really specific and genuine, you speak from your heart, you're affirming, okay? Everyone loves to feel valued and appreciated. So pick three things that you love about this person, what you know to be true. Ideas like you're into health and fitness, your healthy recipes on social are always so inspiring and amazing and your presence. Um, on social, you're such a go-getter, you're home with your kids, I know you recently lost your job. Um, I thought of you because, hey, that's what the first part of the 60 second invite is, is it why you thought of it. Whatever it is, dig deep, make it real. The second is the ask, the if I would you. If I sent you a short video, would you have time to watch it? Okay, period, that's the ask. Number three is getting the next touch point. So at the end of the call, or the, yeah, you're always going to say, so do you have time to watch that today? And if they do, so if I called you tonight at 8 p.m., would you have time to have a conversation? So you're going to find a day and time. That's your third part, getting the next touch point. Now, here's the deal. You can't really say the wrong thing to the right person or the right thing to the wrong person, okay? You want them to want it. So our goal in this whole 60-second invite is to invite. We do not need to convince anyone. We're just going to invite them. This is easy and duplicatable. It should only be 60 seconds. And just remember, this isn't natural for anyone. Okay. It really does take practice and it takes courage and it does work. Okay. So what we're going to do, Crystal, do you want to add anything to that before we try to play a little? I love that you mentioned that quote. You can't say the right thing to the wrong person or the wrong thing to the right person. That's actually the exact quote that I heard someone speak at a conference once that spoke so loudly to me. And it gave me those three, five, 10 seconds of courage to kind of just get over it and have the conversation because ultimately when it's the right person, the conversation is just going to be very simple. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, let's go through. We're going to, I think so many people are auditory learners or visual, um, just to be able to experience it and kind of see what it could could look like, right? It's the goal of 60 seconds because we're not calling the chit chat and hear about the weekend. You're calling with intention and purpose and um, you can chit chat another time. Um, so really knowing why you're calling that person is what's going to make it the most natural. Don't you think, Michelle, like when you really yeah. know what you truly genuinely believe to be true about the person, if it's a compliment about a post that they just did or um, just who they are as a person, as a mom, as, um, you know, something you look up to them about. So knowing that is going to help you stay authentic and not feel slimy or salesy or just all the things that the lies that are going to go through your head. So we're going to run through and kind of just do a role play so that you can see Michelle's going to be the one doing the 60 second invite. I'm going to be the one answering on the other end. And we'll just kind of walk through what this could look like for you. And again, remember, it does take time to really be genuine and to find the things that you want to point. And it's also very, very important to practice. I practiced with my daughter when I first learned this skill and she would say things like, it sounds like you're reading. And so I worked really hard on trying to not read something, but trying to really just be in on the conversation. And remember, we want to fail forward and never give up. This is a learned skill. This isn't, like I said, something that comes natural for anybody. So what I'm going to do, and just so you know that you are going to get the files that we're actually pulling all this information from so that you can read it for yourself, understand the script that we're referring to. And I am going to try to keep to the script so that you can hear it correctly. I do, I, when I'm doing it a little more natural, <clears throat> I kind of say what I want to say in different ways. So again, um, let's this a shot. So if I call Crystal now, one thing I want to say is if I get someone's voice message, I just say, hey, Crystal, I have a quick question for you. Call me back when you get a chance. Click. Okay. That's all the information I give. When she does call me back, I say, you know, or, or if I call her, hey, Crystal, how you doing? I don't have a whole lot of time. Is this a good time to connect? Yeah, I have a few minutes. Thanks okay. Awesome. Well, I recently watched a video that uh, my company put out, or I'll say something like that my friend put out, and it made me think of you. And I think of you because you're so genuine, beautiful, and social. We're, we're boating pals. I know you have a boat, and I have a boat. We have really similar lifestyles. I love that you're into healthy living, and your, your recipes always look so great. And truly, truly, you just shine. You're just so such a person who lives life to the full, and you're someone that I gravitate towards. And so that's why I'm calling. I'm, I'm calling because I just wanted to invite you to view this video. So if you had 10 minutes or so, would you be willing to watch this short video that might give you a snapshot of what it would be like to join my team? Yeah, I'll watch it. I mean, I don't know if it's something I'll be interested in, but I definitely would check it out. Great, because this, I know this is, is or is not a fit for everybody. I totally understand that. And timing is everything, right? So sometimes timing is, is what it takes. So uh, do you think you'll have time to watch that today? Um, I probably could watch it this afternoon. Okay. So if I called you tonight, like after the kids were in bed, like 8 p.m., or is sometime tomorrow, like nap time better for you? I can do maybe around nine if nine works for you. 9 p.m. night? Yep. Okay, great. Well, I am going to text you the link okay. and then I want you to watch it. And then I'll just check in with you right before that we chat. And then if it'd be okay, I might have my business coach or my mentor join us so that it can answer any questions that you have. Cause I'd love you to write down three to five questions about what you see. Okay, yep, that works, works for me. Okay, sounds good. I'll text you the link. Have a okay. good day. Thanks for reaching out. All right, so that was kind of short and sweet um, as you just get to see a feel for the encouragement I gave her, um, why her to just watch it. I don't want to go into too many details on the call because I think that puts 
people off. I know that Crystal has some other scripts based on whether it's a new person, whether it's a seasoned Shackley person that you would like to invite them to upgrade to distributor, or even just to get more training. I thought that was a creative script you talked about. Yeah, let's talk about that for a second. And you know, it's funny because we were just acting and she was just calling me, but she genuinely like affirmed me. <laughs> like it does make you feel good. She said nice things. And so I can't emphasize that enough to make sure you do really pinpoint why you're calling somebody. Um, because nonetheless, let's say they say, I just really have zero time. Like, no, it's not for me. I thank you for your kind words, but it's just not for me. Ultimately, it still is a win. You planted the seed and you did it. So it's, it's one more no to get to the yes, but also you, you made them feel good. And so they're not going to look at you as just be, because you're trying to get ahead in your business there. They really will genuinely feel grateful for the nice things that you said. So that's why we want you to really be authentic. So let's talk real briefly. If you're somebody who's brand new and using this as a, as a way to learn a lot about the company, Shackley, the business as a whole, and this is a, what we call learn and earn. It's the very best way to get you into action um, while also helping you get new members and even more importantly, new distributors, because this is always more fun with people. And this is a network, right? We're building a community. So we want to be doing this with people. And so we also have a file we'll send you for this too. I'm just going to go right from this so I don't get too chatty and explaining it. Um, it's all based upon the three-way calling and connecting people. So there's three people. There's the prospect, there's you, the connector, and then there's an expert, you know, somebody who's more seasoned in Shackley. So three, three people. And it looks like this. I'll say, hi, hi, Michelle, this is Crystal. Do you have a quick minute? We always ask, ask permission for that. And say, I need your help. Okay, we're not going to ask for a favor because we genuinely are asking somebody to help us complete something. These are your like ride or die people, right? Like, who would you call if you were stranded on the side of the road? Who would you call? It might be mom, aunt, sister, it might be two best friends and your grandma or dad or brother, whoever. We all have those people that you can count on no matter what. So think of it as maybe even reaching out to those people initially first, okay? You say, I need your help. I've decided to move. Um, or I've decided to um, start my own wellness business. And I'm really, really excited about it. I'm actually getting the opportunity to work closely with a business coach. And they're helping me to get my business jump started. I know this is something that maybe you may, you know, would never consider. But as a part of my training, I am coached to, to share this business opportunity with five people in the next five days. So all I need you to do is watch a quick video, write down three to five questions, preferably five if possible, that if this were to be for you in a million years, if this were to be something that you would consider of owning your own wellness business and doing this with me, what would you still need to know after watching this 10 minute video? My business coach will then hop on a call with you or we can even meet up for coffee if you want to. And you will just simply ask these questions and I get to listen and hear how my business coach is going to answer the questions. So this is going to help me learn not only about the company and more about the products, but really how to communicate with my future clients better. And then you say, if I would you, it's again, that same concept of the 60 second invite and the three-way calling, if I would you. So if I sent you the video, would you watch it and write down three to five questions? Is there any reason why you couldn't do this for me? They're going to say, yes, these are your people. Okay, so you don't have to even be nervous about it because these are your people. So then you say, hey, by the way, I was instructed to make a list of people that if I could choose specifically who I wanted to work closely with forever, who would it be? And you made my list. So if nothing else, make sure you realize that I think so much of you and it's a huge compliment that I'm reaching out to you because I would love to work with you. So then you set the date and time. It's as simple as that. And again, you can even start with your ride or die people so that you can get over those nerves and really effectively go through this process. Because let's say all five or all three people or all five people ask five questions. That's 15 to 25 questions. A lot of those will be different. 
And you'll get to hear how your business coach answers those. So it really is a great onboarding training process. But some of those people are going to be really excited about the business. And some of those people are going to be really excited about the products that we offer. So it's a great way to get you going in the business and having great conversation too. Again, we're going to give you these files. Um, and of course, you're going to reach out to whoever your business coach is, and they will coach you through this in more detail. But this is going to be a really effective way for you to grow your business, grow your network, and gain a lot of confidence and knowledge along the way too. Thank you, Michelle, so much for doing this with me. And we are so excited to um, see all the su success and the people that you're going to reach as a part of these awesome 60-second invites.